Hi, I am finally bringing a guest star onto my channel. So this is Julie, my bestie boy, babes. We met in Amsterdam and then after <laughs> that in Cape Town. And we've been besties. modeling buddies. Besties, 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 besties! <laughs> Acquaintances. <laughs> Acquaintances. <laughs> Colleagues. <laughs> Since 2014? Yo, I think that's when we met. Yeah, so it's been a while. Seven, almost eight years, I think. Any hoodles? Today we are doing a part two of my my series, my one part series so far, reading my fan fictions, and I wanted to have someone in there that is studying psychology, so she can tell me what that means, what y'all are saying about me. So yeah, let's just dive right into it. <laughs> I'm reading this from what that the first fan fiction is called Wishful. I will just quickly tell you what it's about. Marv has been in love with her best friend for forever, but when she hears that her best friend just got a new girlfriend, Marv feels her heart break. Will Marv ever confess her feelings, or has she destined to be just best friends forever? On the off chance Marv finds these, I'm so sorry, thank you for being an ass awesome character to write. Yes. Written from Marv's POV. I sat there on that old worn out couch staring blankly over your name's shoulder. I'm just gonna say Julie. At the now off white wall, desperately trying to hold back the tears and look happy. Our words all blurred together. <laughs> Don't cry, baby. Okay? It was taking everything in me not to break down crying. Wow, how did you know? <laughs> Are you okay? No. How does one tell their best friend that they're hopelessly and utterly in love with them? That you get lost in their eyes every time they talk to you and that your stomach is filled with butterflies when they smile at you or call you cute? You never call me cute. You call me cute all the time. How do you tell her that you want to be hers? So instead, I sat there listening to how amazing this new girl was. Aww. If this made Julie happy, then I was happy for her. <laughs> No, you weren't. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> it's rather difficult when your best friend is right there telling you how smooth another girl's lips are and that she tasted like strawberries and how her back arched or the noises she made. You get me, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> when Julie finally left a few hours later, finally, she never leaves, so she, she always she stays too much. <laughs> That's when it all hit me. The tears I had barely been holding back fold my eyes. I collapsed against the door, sliding to the floor yes, in tearful, hyperventilating mess. Every <laughs> <laughs> time I leave this house, yeah, she's like not, this. not because of who you're going to, it's because of that you're leaving me. <laughs> Boiling a hot showers always make me feel better and calm me down. Excuse me, why are you skipping parts, ma'am? Don't skip uh, the skinny parts. Like, I was crying in the shower, <laughs> I was there skinny parts. <laughs> Sluggishly, I slowly make it to my room. Making a Dutch person talk with so many S's is really rude. <laughs> and the sweatshirt Julie left behind. You always take my clothes, you never <laughs> leave your clothes. <laughs> it was slightly small on me, despite being rather large on her. Oh my god, you're scared! <laughs> I got an Instagram notification. Curious, I clicked on it. I wish I hadn't. Only to have a photo of Julie and her new girlfriend making out. Slap bang in my face. With that, I close the app. After leaving a rushed comment, I'm so happy for you to- I'm so fake. We're plugging it in, rolling over, and breaking down crying all over again. Oh, Morgan. See what you do to me! Still See what you do to me! I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm starting to have a panic attack. Showered again. I'm, I'm glad I still showered. Good for me. Using my favorite <laughs> shampoo and conditioner. I remember when Juliet introduced it to me. Your you hair smell? Introduced. <laughs> Random shampoo to me. <laughs> Julie, I found these left to use this. Damn, self care. So I was cleaning because I was sad and I didn't want to think about you and your lesbian lover. Then my apartment is super clean. I showered again because I got sweaty and dirty from cleaning. I put on some tights. See, that is what would never happen. I would tights? never wear tights. And headed out to drive to Target. I can't drive. I don't have one license. <laughs> so then I went shopping, retail therapy. I went to college. Hell no. Nah. Uh, shower. <laughs> Driver's license. Driver's <laughs> license. <laughs> so it was better, and I processed you getting a girlfriend, and I was happy for you. She doesn't need to know I was busy crying over her. What Marth didn't know was that it would be mere six weeks later when Julie and her girlfriend would get into a massive argument, but this time would be the final one. Marv would be there with a full breakup package of comfort and cuddles, Julie's favorite oversized hoodie of Mars, and all the Shrek movies. <laughs> Nailed right on the head. We would spend three days cuddled up in Julie's bed watching movies before I got up the courage to tell Julie how I felt. She would be thrilled when Julie kissed her, and then with a blush on her cheeks, quietly whispered back that she liked Marv too, 
and had just not been sure I had to tell Mark. There that was, was just it. like a lot of shower scenes. <laughs> <laughs> this one is called a Believer, the intro. I said that nothing but the combined strength of Harry Styles, Wait, this Shrek, is a new one, right? yeah, Harry Styles, Shrek, Shrek and okay. Martha Workman themselves could prevent me from writing a bad spin-off, and by God, I meant it. I would like to see who's the tiniest, who's the tallest, and who's. The I think Harry is the tiniest. Are you taller than Harry? I don't know. Let me look it up. I'm taller than Harry Styles. I'm one centimeter. <laughs> Google uh, Shrek height. Right. <laughs> Seven and eight feet. Okay, yeah, so he's taller than me for shizzle. Uh, that's like two meters something. That's okay. Crazy. You're like, oh, if he's taller than Marv, is he taller than me? You tiny ass. <laughs> Harry is a villain. Shrek isn't really a villain in this one, actually, and Martha is barely in it. Why am I barely <laughs> in it? I am the main character. Despite the peace that he had found in his swamp, however, Shrek could not be happy. From the time he was just a gleam in his parents' eyes, he had a strong homosexual urges. You could say he was homosexual. <laughs> That's a good one. The hell? Where are you? That woman. I that woman. I see that woman. <laughs> Shrek was even more crushed when a tall, beautiful Dutch woman came to sit next to Harry. I am Harry's girlfriend, and Shrek is jealous of her love. I'm the other girl. Shrek knew this woman to be Martha. She was in many of Harry's Instagram posts, though Harry always said that it was only for publicity. <laughs> okay, but this was private. Harry was kissing her in private, and that meant that they were not just friends. Shrek had been queer by this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've read enough of this. I'm the other one. I'm not in it. <laughs> I don't like this position to be in. Wildest dreams. The music was pounding through the speakers. I could feel the bass beating in my chest, sweaty bodies all pressed together. Do you think it's a club or an orgy? <laughs> I was standing in the middle of the dance floor, dancing with my best friend when I spotted her. All the way across the other side of the bar. She was so tall and handsome as hell with her short, <laughs> fluffy brown me. hair. She was so tall and handsome. <laughs> fluffy brown hair, dressed in a black suit with a silky white button down. The first few bu buttons ever so casually left open, mm. and her suit jacket tossed over her one shoulder. She stood there looking like a supermodel. I kinda doubt that. If I was dancing, I kinda doubt that. With reminiscence of liquid courage in my system and a dire need for another drink, I leaned over and yelled in my friend's ear that I was going to get a drink. She nodded before looking at the bar and just winked at me, yelling back to go have fun and try not to get kidnapped. I laughed, hugged her, and made my way to the bar. I'm gonna kidnap her. I'm gonna kidnap her. I'm saying, don't ever approach more than a bar. I casually walked next to her, leaning over the bar, slightly, ordering a drink from the bartender, Absolutely. all while half pretending not to notice her. Slightly ordering the drink. How do you think I goes? Slightly, goes? just like, I might want to drink. <laughs> um, so if you want, you can like show me some stuff and maybe I'll, I'll buy something I'll from think you. About it. The bartender was pouring my drink when I noticed another girl come up to the very pretty girl. It was you, <laughs> another girl behind her. There's two girls like in front and back were sandwiching. Yeah. I didn't want to eavesdrop, but they were standing so close and the music was quieter here, so I didn't have much of a choice in overhearing the end of their conversation or just the other girl yelling that she was sorry and would make it all up to the tall, dark-haired goddess before walking or, well, rather running as much as one could through a crowd of people with the girl who had been standing with her. I was taken by surprise that somehow the girl whose name I had learned was Marv Woodman was talking to me. <laughs> She had not wanted to come out tonight, but her friend had dragged her along only to ditch her to go hook up with her ex. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Ew. That's disgusting. I'm sorry, we I do not stand that kind of I behavior. It was during a heated argument of flirting that Marv happened to slip and ask if I wanted to get away from the crowds. She was a stranger and we barely knew each other, but there was something about her that made me trust her. I felt more comfortable with her than anyone I had ever within my entire life. Before I knew it, Marv had grabbed my hand and was dragging me outside into the chilly 3 a.m. morning weather. Marv dragged me over to her car. I can always drive. <laughs> Opening the door and embarrassingly having to help me get in. I was rather short of dragging into your car and now your car was very up. high. <laughs> Because you're so tall. Yeah, like I'm tall, so I had an extra tall car on me. <laughs> Imagine, like, after I got my driver's license in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. In a couple of weeks. Okay. <laughs> Just getting, like, a super small car, you know, like, like a Kamsar or something. <laughs> this is dangerous. We drove for a while down city streets and finally making it out of that town. Come morning light, we were on our way where? Well, we had no idea, but we were just driving. It felt like something magical, honestly. Martha had me connect her phone to the radio and we were making our way through some of her Spotify playlists. My Spotify link down below in the... <laughs> you wanna follow me on there? I have a Shrexy Time Music <laughs> playlist. 
It was the I looked across the car at her and I fell in love. That's that's the effect I love people. Yeah, you just look at people and it's just <laughs> I didn't quite know it then and I wouldn't until a while later, but that was the moment. We were head thrown back yelling out the words to whatever song was next. Probably one direction what makes you beautiful. <laughs> you're, you're, in the uh, you're insecure. You're insecure. <laughs> just a girl looking at me like, like what out of the way. <laughs> It was the way she looked as the early morning rays of the sun hit her face and how she smiled at me. It felt like a scene from a movie. I feel like they put me in a way better light in this story than in the last story, yeah. where I was just showering and crying. Say you'll remember me, she whispered. I, I whispered that. Say you'll remember me. Oh, oh my god. Say you'll remember me. No, 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 no. Wait, is this here? Standing in that nice dress, staring at the sunset, while the streams Okay, I was really confused for a second. I was like, wait, I would never say that. But you were singing this to her? I, I guess. That's the funny shit. Yeah. It's funny how that can happen. <laughs> it's funny how that can happen. That's the story. <laughs> it's funny how that can happen. One moment you life. can be the most confident person in the world, and the next, someone can say something, and all that confidence goes flying out the window. So I made her insecure by singing. You're insecure. Oh. You're insecure. <laughs> Not too sure how to respond or what I could say, I nodded my head, leaned over the middle car, and gently kissed her on the cheek, which caused Marv herself to blush ever so slightly. Damn, you were blushing. I don't blush. I will always remember you, even if it's only in my wildest <laughs> dreams. I promise. Marv and I drove for hours. That means we were like five grand countries further because I live in Europe. <laughs> Shopping at a thrift store. That's not bad though. Yes. So we're just going and then we're going to a thrift store because we're like starting a new life together. We found a motel on the edge of town. Okay, this is where you know it's about to get dirty because it's a motel and a hotel. I want spice. Where we booked a room and tried to get some not too different rooms. Um, are y'all talking about premarital intercourse? To get some sleep since neither of us had slept. Was I drunk driving? Yeah, I was just about to say, were you? I do not stand drunk driving. Nope. Maybe I was sober at a club while you were hooking up with your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> However, that plan was ruined. What started as just a kiss. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Progress. Let me get my tea. Get your tea. Ow, Steaming my... hot tea. My fingers. Hey, that's the next line. No joking. <laughs> Her hands in my hair, our clothes all over the room. We knew that we might not last forever. Nothing lasts forever. Right. Things were getting good and much later that evening we fell asleep. Much later. <laughs> you yeah. last too long. Uh -huh. I look back in hindsight of being tangled up with Marth all night. How I thought she'd leave me. Never knew the memories wouldn't be the only thing following me around. Because a year after a week long road trip to pretty much nowhere. A week! That's a good first date. Marth took me to the beach. And while I was standing watching the sunset, she got down on one knee and asked if I'd spend the rest of my life with her <laughs> so she wouldn't have to only see me in her wildest dreams. What? No, what? That was it. No, was that was the story. Well, you want to marry someone <laughs> after like a week long date? <laughs> yes, that's how True. you work. Like I just take someone from a club, leave for a week, I have no job, nothing, yeah. and we just get married. But you have fluffy brown hair. So that, is, that is true. It's oh, alright. It kind of hurts from carrying the whole weight of... Be the funny one in this video. No, I'm joking. <laughs> You're being the funny one. I'm just reading. Where so, do you find these? I just type there? in my name on Wattpad. What is Wattpad? Oh, oh Julie. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet little Julie. Go to Wattpad on your phone and type in any character. Like it can be fucking My Little Pony, and there will be a Wattpad story about That's it. That's concerning. Yeah, no, joking. I only found out about this kind of recently. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was sitting at the kitchen island when there was a knock at the door. <laughs> Lowering your voice, you know what's going Call on? Call hire me. I was sitting at the kitchen island when there was a knock at the door. I'll get it. My husband called out. <laughs> husband? Weird. I don't think this is me. I think this is your name. I made my way to the door. I wish I hadn't. I wish I'd never gotten up from where I was sitting. I wish I could go back in time. Not just to before that moment, but so many years before. There they were. Two very... Saloon. I'm gonna look Saloon it up. Saloon looking <laughs> police officers. I'm gonna look it up. Hold on, one second. Serious. But she oh. wrote it wrong. It's Solemn. Oh, Solemn. So, two very serious looking police officers. One was holding a letter. They were asking for me. I wish I'd never heard what they said next. That was the moment my entire world crumbled. It was a letter from her, Martha Wurfman. They had come to let me know she had died. <laughs> what the f? I was her emergency contact. You did? Why are you 
<laughs> it's fiction, it's fiction, it's okay, I'm right here. <laughs> My whole world faded after that. Very Why funny. me? After all these years, after everything, the way things ended, did this mean she had loved me all these years? Suddenly I was falling. Wait, well, who, what, why did she love you all of a sudden? We were high school sweethearts, I think. I hadn't heard from her over all these years. She was gone now. So she starts crying, then the pillow got wet. I have that effect too. <laughs> I'm sorry. This That's is how right. I cope with my death. Yeah, right. <laughs> with your own death. All I could think about was her, her face, the way she used to kiss me. The way she used to sneak, sneak around the back Wait. of her car. If you know what I mean. The or one of those nights up on the roof. She dragged herself up the bed, she stripped off her clothes. Tiny. Just there on the left side of my ribcage was that tiny heart tattoo. The one she had convinced me to get with her on my 18th birthday. At least we were legal. So she misses me, she'd be standing next to me, arm around my waist, that we'd be swaying. She would kiss my neck and tell me she loved me, that I was her girl, and that we were going to be for together forever. But why did you die though? Like what happened? Yeah, that's... I wanna know now, <laughs> yes. you know? Like a why, how did you manage to I die? I wanna know! Making out in the back of her old Mustang. Driving again! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's how I died. Yes. <laughs> they found out you don't have a driver's license. So her parents found out about us and uh, they sent her off to college. And oh, you're we were never allowed to see me again. Nay. 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 No. Her parents. <laughs> she married a man. Mind because she, we had to break up. I wish I told her back then what she meant to me. That she wasn't left wondering. Was she wondering? No, because she did. Oh my god, yeah, she did. Did she spend the rest of her life waiting for me? A sob, a sob escapes me. I clutch okay. the shower wall. Come on, that's no steam. A lot of shower scenes, so steam not me shower. in this shower scene. I'm dead. Okay, so. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. This was such a mess. Did you have fun? No, I wanna go home. <laughs> okay. I loved it. I loved the TV shower scenes. I loved you driving. I loved you being fluffy bl uh, brunettes. Thanks so much for being here. It's no such a problem. good time. And uh, I hope we can do this again soon. Sure. Make sure to like, subscribe. And leave a comment. And leave a comment. <laughs> what should they comment? What do you want to see next? Is there anything specific you want me and Julie to do for my YouTube channel? Let or me know in the comments or... below. Or just Julie. You know, just leave her out of it. Just me singing in a big room. <laughs> yes, that's what you do best. <laughs> you scared me. Did you see how long I did? Yeah, you scared me. Really long. Anyway, okay, thanks anyway. for watching.